So this manuscript that we're looking at here is um, a German alchemy manuscript from the 15th century. And one of the questions that we were trying to answer looking at this manuscript was whether the black ink that was used for the text is any different to the black ink that was used in the illustrations. So the black ink that's usually used for text responds differently under different wavelengths of light than the ink that was used for the illustrations. So with our multispectral imaging system, we can look at different wavelengths of light and see those reactions happening. The images that we take with the camera are black and white because of the sensor type that's in there. So this is a colour image and you can see where the text's black and there's colour there too. So with the images that we take under our different wavelengths of light, what we're trying to see is any changes in the way that the pigments react with the light. So what we're looking at is the black text around the top and the bird here. So as we go through the wavelengths from the shorter blue end through into infrared, the inks react differently with each stage of light. And as you can see, the blackbird stays very solid and the text around the top starts to fade. Now this suggests that there are two different types of pigment. So the bird would be a carbon-based pigment, like lamp black or like a burnt material, and the, the text around the top would be iron gall. So this is just one of the ways that we can use technology to uncover the secrets of how these manuscripts were made.